Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And today we're going to talk a bit about the light of Freemasonry. Now even if you are a non-Mason, this is a subject matter that you just can't help but be evident to you uh, that light is a recurring theme and subject matter inside of Freemasonry. Uh, so there are two different little segments here that I want to talk about uh, in the Entered Apprentice degree that come after you take your obligation that refer to light. Uh, the first is a reading of the very first passage in the King James Version of the Bible. So just in case you are not up on your scripture reading, let's repeat that now. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now that is scriptural, but everything inside of Freemasonry is more speculative, so we're trying to uh, use scripture like that to impart a meaning that we can apply to moral lessons of our life. Next you're going to be told about the three great lights in Masonry and here in Mississippi it goes just like this. The three great lights in Masonry are the Holy Bible, square, and compasses. The Bible is to be the rule and guide of your faith, the square to square your actions, and the compasses to circumscribe and keep you in due bounds with all mankind, more especially with a brother Mason. So here you're being told about uh, three things that are clearly visible in the lodge, uh, the holy scriptures, the uh, compasses and the square, and you're being told what their uses are, what kind of moral lesson you're supposed to gain from each of those. Next you're going to be told about the lesser lights and the wording for that is the three less are the sun, moon, and master of the lodge and are thus explained as the sun rules the day and the moon governs the night so should the worshipful master endeavor with equal regularity to rule and govern the lodge. They are represented by those three burning tapers. So obviously you'll have to picture it for yourself, but there are three burning candles or something there representing candles uh, in the lodge, representing the sun, the moon, and the master of the lodge. So uh, those are some of the representations of light in the lodge, and you'll have to do more studying on your own time to learn more about those. But there are certainly moral lessons to be drawn from each, uh, and each of them has a place and a better understanding. In one of the question and answer videos we talked about, uh, somebody had specifically requested information about the different positions in the lodge. And one of those positions, of course, being Worshipful Master, it is his duty to govern the lodge. And here we can kind of see a tie-in between that. Uh, that as the sun rules the day and the moon governs the night, so should the Worshipful Master endeavor with equal regularity to rule and govern the lodge. So it's something for you to imagine and to understand. You see the sunrise, you see the moon rise, you understand how those impact our climate and the general conditions of our planet and everything that's involved with, with those. So you can picture that. And then you can think to yourself, how does that apply uh, to me? And how, uh, how it applies to a master of a lodge and how you're supposed to rule and govern just like the sun and the moon rule and govern certain things in nature. So uh, there's a lot of more in-depth information that goes with that, but I wanted to give you something uh, to be able to use as a starting point for your understanding and for your research. So. Next, we will talk about the apron that you always see Freemasons wearing. What is that all about? If you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.